Hey, Tony here. Uh, well, there's a couple different plants here. There's a daffodil right here that's growing out here in the wild. Sometimes, uh, if you find an old homestead, uh, you'll find things like daffodils going along a line. And uh, they were put there by the farmer or the farmer's wife. And then that house went right over here is an old uh, railroad line. The big uh, wilderness, wilderness area behind us. So anyway, daffodil. But what I wanted to show you here is stinging nettle. And I know for sure that it's stinging nettle. It's already stung me. But some people really have a problem with stinging nettle. Some people don't have much of a problem. Stinging nettle, if you're not familiar, right, that are uh, hollow like a hypodermic needle. And then they have this little cap on the end of that hair. And when you brush against it, it knocks that cap off and it shoots an acid into you, which is the same acid that fire ants have uh, when they bite you but uh, stinging nettle uh, is um, edible obviously you want to do that when the stinging portion is gone what gets rid of the stinging portion well cooking it does and drying it does people have also made uh, stinging nettle tea for, geez, centuries. Um, even the Native Americans did for uh, muscle pain, um, arthritis, and uh, the uh, settlers that came in, they, they learned that also and did the same thing. There's a couple different types of stinging nettle. I'm not going to try and say the Latin name. I'm not real good at that. But... Uh, to get these, you can use gloves and long sleeves if you have a problem with them. And take them home. Boil them like spinach. Uh, make the tea and get the health. Eat them and get the health benefits plus it's edible. And uh, there are some people who have allergies. And this is the more recent thing that have allergies and severe allergies to different pollens and stuff like that. And there has been some research and so far it looks pretty promising where people are deliberately stinging themselves with stinging nettle because it builds up their body's defense toward that and other allergens. So the people that, you know, have a, a problem with certain weeds uh, and the pollens are off of trees and uh, a lot of problems through the summer and fall are getting some, some promising relief from that. So stinging nettle, there's a lot of uses for it. It is a good weed. You just got to be careful around it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.